Hey guys, and welcome back to the first video in this series called Design and Build a Chat App with Socket.io. And I want to jump right into an application called Sketch. And let me pull up the, uh, the website here. But this is one of the most popular applications for doing uh, mobile and web design and other things as well uh, that lots of people are using, lots of the tutorials I see, lots of the people that I come across are using Sketch. I've been, I've been using Sketch now for about a year. I'm by no means uh, a guru at Sketch, but I, I know enough to do kind of the basic stuff that, uh, that I want to get done. So they've got a free trial here, and, and also note that this is only on Mac. So if you're on Windows, you're going to have to look for um, other alternatives. But uh, you can see they've got a free trial here, and I think the full paid version, let's see, for the license, I think is $100 if you're a student. Yeah, $100. Um, and I think if you're a student, you get a discount for 50 which I think um, – my wife got her discount for being uh, being a teacher. So teachers and students get discounts as well. So all that you can kind of look through here and look at their documentation and kind of play around with it. Look up tutorials on uh, YouTube. There's all kinds of great stuff out there. Uh, this is super, super popular. So if you're, if you're interested in doing any kind of design, uh, this is probably a tool or something, something similar that you're going to be interested in. If you're not interested in taking a look at the actual design uh, and just want to start coding, go ahead and move on to the next video. But so here I am in Sketch. Uh, really quickly, there's kind of a toolbar up top. There's uh, all the different tabs and things, different pages I have at the top left. Then here's all the elements that I have inside of my workspace here. And then there's a, a big, huge toolbar over here on the right as well for uh, tweaking things like size and height and color and, and all that kind of stuff. So I want to start with uh, start on this left hand side. and Maybe I'll center that and zoom in a little bit. And this is kind of, um, if you guys have ever heard of the idea of a style guide, it's, it's, it's a guide that you'll go ahead and plan out what your colors and your fonts and your font weights and all that kind of stuff is before you actually get into the design of the application itself. So you'll kind of decide on these things and maybe you tweak them later on, but you start with uh, the core of like your fonts, your colors, and this can get super, super in depth. You could go all the way down to button styles and, and date picker styles and, and you could do everything that you want in here to have kind of standardized components or um, or standards that you're going to use throughout your application. Now, this is, if you talk to a real designer, this is not a real design guide. This is just uh, colors and a couple of fonts, but it's the basics of what a style guide is. So I want to, uh, I want to start really quickly. Let me come back over here and, and come to a, a website called Material Design Color Palette. And it, so materialpalettes.com. And this is where you can basically choose two different colors and then you can see what they're going to look like together. And they give you this little demo, uh, demo application here. And this is based on Google's material design. So for me, I need all of kind of the assist that I can get when I think about design. I'm not naturally a designer. I'm trying to get more into that space. Uh, so I look for tools like this to kind of help me get started. And what I did is I just played around with a couple of these combinations and I saw how they looked with each other. And I basically settled on the blue and light blue. So then at the bottom, it gives you, well, I guess at the top, it gives you kind of the demo application. Then at the bottom, it gives you these colors. And basically what I did is I took those colors and I put them in here. And at some point, I considered using a yellow, uh, which I'm not going to use. But anyway, I've got a dark blue, and you can see that's kind of the header background here. I've got a light blue, which I'm using for some of this text color, a primary blue, which is this blue down here, and the button here. Uh, no yellow. I've got uh, just white text and icons. Uh, this is a white here, and then this is the, the lighter blue down here. The primary text is uh, just going to be a really dark gray color, not quite black, but a dark gray. And then I get into some of these secondary text and light grays to do uh, a little bit of contrast. Uh, as you can see, the, the April here is a little bit lighter than, than what the rest of the text is. And this part is lighter than the rest of the actual dark gray text. Anyway, these are the colors that we're starting with. And then down here, I've got basically a, a header, a subheader, uh, body text that's bolded, and then uh, body text that's just regular. And you can see as I click on one of these, header, uh, for example, you can see I've got the typeface of Helvetica New, the weight is regular, and you can change this to all these different things, um, and then your font size and color here. Uh, and if you're, if you're new to Sketch, this is not really going to be how to use Sketch tutorials, so go look and find those. This is going to be more just basic design concepts of what we're going to use to go ahead and build this application. So I've got several different colors, and I've got uh, these different pieces of text here. So I want to come in and, and kind of break down a little bit some of the things that 
uh, I've tried to focus on in this design. And these, again, are, are design concepts that are a little, little new to me. Uh, and one of the things, first of all, is kind of how you vary your fonts. And I keep hearing and realizing that you don't really need multiple different font families. You don't necessarily need uh, different fonts. You can do a lot with one font and then change it up how, uh, change up the, the weight and the color and, and the size and things like that. So this is all using one font, Helvetica New. If you go across each one of these, you'll see that, that it's Helvetica New. And notice that uh, this kind of, this big one, a header here is 48 pixel size and then it's just a regular weight and it's a white background. Now you come something a little, a little bit less important you're going to add a little bit of contrast between it and the title. So the things that, that, are, that are the biggest and the, the things that pop out to the user the most are the things that are going to be the most important. And those are going to be bigger fonts, maybe bold, maybe brighter colors or easier to see colors. Then you get into content that's more like secondary content. And that's what I consider uh, this, little, this little message here. And that's why it's uh, a regular font, so a regular weight, and uh, so is this one. And you could uh, make the top one bold if you wanted to. But regular weight, a smaller size, and also a, a different color. So it's this really light blue color, and you can see just enough where it kind of makes it look a little, little more subtly kind of in the background than this, this bright white is. So uh, coming on down, we've got similar concepts here. Um, your your uh, input text, your placeholder text is usually going to be lighter by default, so that's why it's lighter here. Uh, you've got your chat button, and it's very simple. This is kind of a, a very boxy design, a very clean cut, uh, flat material design, I guess is what we're looking at. And then uh, I think actually in my in one of my designs, I've got this one bolded. Um, and I don't know, you guys can kind of give feedback, I guess, on which one you think looks better, bolded or not. But um, let's move over to the kind of the quick chat here. And we've got the same header at the top, and then we've got uh, all the different messages that are coming across, and these are just lorem ipsum, um, lorem ipsum ones that are not really important. But notice that I've got the, the top here. Anytime someone joins the chat, we're going to spit out a message to say, hey, so-and-so joined the chat. And this is one of those lighter grays, so this is not quite the dark gray that we have in our palette, but it's the, let's see, the, either the light gray or the secondary text. I'm not sure which one that is, actually, uh, but one of those. And that's just because that one's not quite as important. Again, the things that things that are important are going to be uh, more more contrast, maybe, or or bigger, or bolder, or something like that. And the same idea here with um, oh, I guess we'll come into this element here. Uh, let me actually back out of that. The same thing here with this date. It's a it's a light font, so it's going to be skinnier, and it's going to make it look honestly like a slightly different color. It's still the same color. It's just lighter and skinnier. So you can do a lot by just changing the weight of a font. Um, so that one's light. This is bold over here for the name. And then the content here is just a regular regular type. And then on a, on a, a user's chat, like if I send the chat myself, it's going to be in this window on the right. And this is kind of similar to what you'd see in iMessage or your typical messaging app. Um, I don't need the name, so I don't display that there. And then I've got the similar thing where this is a lighter font, so it looks like a different color. It looks a little more subtle. It's a little more in the background. And the the content of the message is really what's important. So that's what we're focused on. And I think in I think in my final design, I've got these things touching like that. So I'll just kind of update that. So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of basics on design concepts, and it's really focusing on um, on your font uh, font or fonts. And and the suggested thing that I see is you don't you don't really want more than two different fonts. And I debated about using maybe a different font here to kind of accent this header. I decided against it just to keep it a little bit simpler. But you can see I've got enough contrast, I think, that it looks pretty good uh, the way I differentiate between different uh, you know, headers or body text or, or bolded body text and stuff like that. So I think it does a pretty good job of that. And then the color scheme here, we've got, um, again, you can use these, uh, uh, like a light blue in here to make it look a little more subtle, a lighter gray in here, a lighter gray in here to make it look a little more subtle. And then kind of a really dark, uh, dark gray, almost black color here for your, for your regular text. And then white on this blue background because it's got a little more contrast there. So contrast, I think, is, is really the key, being able to differentiate a little bit between different elements. Uh, they talk a lot about white space and a lot of the design things that I, I read. It's just empty space. You don't want things to be too cluttered. So this header here is pretty simple. There's not really much going on. It's just the title and the little text. And I've got lots of space on either side. This actual message window has got lots of space on either side as well. And then you've got some, some space in between these messages that I think gives it a, a pretty good look. 
So this is the design that we're going to be working on. This is uh, basically what we're going to we're going to take this and we're going to build it with our web technologies. And that's what we're, what we're going to get started doing in the next video. So I will see you guys there. And I hope you're as excited as I am to go ahead and start building this thing out.